So the Green Bay Packers just finalized their 17-player practice squad today by signing three more players to the practice squad as well as placing one pre-existing player on injured reserve. So I wanted to quickly go over the three players that were added to the Green Bay Packers practice squad to officially round out this 70 man roster guys just a reminder all my content is now anywhere you find your podcasts in audio form so if that does interest you simply search up the channel name and you'll find it wherever you listen to your podcasts and one more reminder you have just over one day left to enter in this signed lynn dickey Packers white jersey here. Very, very clean signature as you see there. This giveaway is being sponsored by Sleeper, so the way you enter is go down in the description, download Sleeper, make a first-time deposit with code BASS, B-A-S, and that'll also get you a first-time deposit match up to $100. The picks for the Green Bay Packers versus Philadelphia Eagles game are actually already out on Sleeper, such as Jordan Love, higher or lower, 258.5 passing yards, Josh Jacobs, higher or lower, 66.5 rushing yards, Christian Watson, higher or lower, 40.5 receiving yards. Those are just a few options you can select on Sleeper, higher or lower in this game. And I also just started a pick'em pool, which is absolutely free to join. I'm going to put the link down in the description as well. So go join the pick'em pool, sign up on Sleeper, use code BASKET, entered in this giveaway, and get your deposit match and go ahead and make your picks. All right, so now let's dive down into the roster news. We saw yesterday the Packers added two more players to the practice squad, safety Omar Brown and linebacker Chris Russell. So today they added three more. The Packers signed fullback Andrew Beck, cornerback Kamal Haddon, and running back LaMichael P. Ryan to the practice squad and placed running back Nate McCrary on practice squad slash injured reserve. General manager Brian Gutekunst announced the transactions on Friday. Kind of a surprise here to see them add another fullback that's not named Henry Pearson. I feel like they got a lot of snaps this offseason, and yes, the Packers cut him once, but they also brought him back once, and I never really expected him to make the 53-man roster, but I kind of expected him to be back on the practice squad, but it seems like they want to go a different route as a fourth tight end slash fullback, H-back type of player, and Andrew Beck is an intriguing one. I mean, this guy could very well be called up on game day to be that fourth guy in the room behind Tucker Craft, Luke Musgrave, Ben Sims, and of course, another H-back type of role. So first for Andrew Beck, he was a undrafted free agent out of the 2019 draft, first signed with the New England Patriots, but then was released and spent four years in Denver from 2019 to 2022. Then most recently in 2023, he spent his time with the Houston Texans where he saw the most snaps out of his entire career. And we look at his grades, uh, not great grades. I don't think he's ever had over a 60.0, but he's also a fullback. So you can take that as you will. We see his snap counts over the years, you know, 2019 Denver as a rookie, 231 snaps. And then most recently with the Texans, 323 snaps. But he's definitely someone that could get called up on game day in week one if they want to have a fourth guy in that tight end slash H-back room behind Tucker Craft, Luke Musgrave, Ben Sims. If they want to have a fourth guy in that room as they don't have Tyler Davis, he went on IR, um, they don't really have another tight end right now available, Andrew Beck could be that guy. The next player added to the roster was running back LaMichael P. Ryan, who was actually a fourth round draft selection in the 2020 draft to the New York Jets out of the University of Florida. And you see in 2020, uh, spent two years actually with the New York Jets, 2020, 2021, a uh, year off in 2022. I, I would assume that's due to injury or just being on a practice squad. And then Kansas City there in 2023. Over the three years, he's played in regular season action. He saw 105 snaps, 94 attempts, 340 yards, a 3.6 average, and two total touchdowns. Both touchdowns coming in his rookie season with the New York Jets, where he saw his most snaps. Now, that was pretty much a straight swap for Nate McCrary, who I guess picked up an injury. So now the Packers kind of trying to continue with two running backs on the practice squad roster, Ellis Merriweather and LaMichael Pirine. Kind of the same point I made with Andrew Beck. One of these guys could be called up for week one to make sure that they have three running backs ready to play if Marshawn Lloyd isn't ready week one. Josh Jacobs, of course, Emmanuel Wilson seemingly ready for week one, but they might want to have a third guy capable. And I would assume they'd bring up Ellis Merriweather before LaMichael Pirine because he knows the playbook. But nonetheless, they wanted to have two running backs on this practice squad roster. Now, this final player is the most intriguing one, and it's very similar to yesterday's video when I was talking about Omar Brown. Kamal Haddon's another player that I definitely mocked to the Green Bay Packers a couple times. 
times. I mocked Omar Brown more, but Kamal Haddon definitely was in my mock drafts a couple times at least, and he was a six-round pick to the Kansas City Chiefs out of this draft, the 2024 draft, six round from Tennessee. He's 6'1", 197 pounds, and I'm honestly shocked the Chiefs cut ties with him so quickly, uh, but I saw on Twitter that they tried him in the nickel, and it didn't work out well. But Kamal Haddon isn't a nickel cornerback. Kamal Haddon is definitely a primary outside cornerback. And I think this is a great add to the Green Bay Packers practice squad. If we bring up his stats over the last three seasons, the first two years, nothing great. Nothing to really write home about. But where he impressed was in 2023. And it's why he got drafted in this draft. 85.7 defensive grade, including a 90.4 coverage grade. Where he only allowed 12 receptions on 33 targets for 96 yards. Had three interceptions, six pass breakups, and allowed a 7.0 pass rating. Yes, you heard that right. Not 70. 7 Point oh pass rating allowed last year in 2023 and that's in 311 total snaps and as you can see here as his snap alignments last year mainly outside cornerback 267 snaps and over his career nearly a thousand snaps outside and only 25 in the slot so I don't really understand why the Kansas City Chiefs drafted this guy in the sixth round to try him in the nickel and then when it doesn't work in preseason, just outright cutting the guy. I think this is a practice squad steal for the Packers. Having both Kalen King and Kamal Haddon on their practice squad as the cornerbacks, I think is a very deep cornerback room to have on a practice squad. Two guys that, in my opinion, although just rookies, could definitely get elevated at some point and see some snaps on defense and do a good job. So overall, it's just practice squad signings. But it's still important, right? Like, there's plenty of practice squad players that ended up on the Packers roster and made a name for themselves. There's so many you could list off. So, so far, I'm really liking the talent that they're stashing on their practice squad, of course, including Kaelin King, Omar Brad, Kamal Haddon, a lot of really solid defensive backs on this practice squad. But that does it for this video. Just wanted to quickly update you guys on the final practice squad for the Green Bay Packers for now. Obviously, things can definitely change over the next week, and they probably will. But as of right now, this is the first time that we're seeing the official 70-man roster for the Green Bay Packers. But I appreciate you guys coming by to the video. Again, reminder to check out Sleeper, enter in this giveaway also join my pick em pool links are down in the description but i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching and as always go pack go